Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo ang length of arc of plane curve by integration. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, I ituro ko naman sa inyo ang another application of integral calculus which is finding the length of arc of plane curve by integration. So, meron na rin akong previous videos about other applications of integral calculus like finding the areas of region bounded by curves using integration as well as finding the volume. So, ito is another application. This time, finding naman yung length ng arc of plane curve by integration. Okay, so meron ako ditong figure kung saan meron tayong curve which is given by y is equal to f of x. Tapos, pwede nating mahanap yung length ng curve na to from the point where x is equal to a, yung x coordinate, tapos to the point where x is equal to b, yung second coordinate naman. And then, yung corresponding y coordinate is for a is f of a, tsaka for b is f of b. Evaluate lang yung y is equal to f of x sa a at b. So, meron tayong formula para mahanap yung length na to. Kasi, hindi naman siya straight right. So, through integration, pwede nating mahanap yung ating length ng arc of plane curve na to. Okay? So, sabi, if the function f and its derivative f prime are continuous on the closed interval, a comma b, then the length of arc of the curve y is equal to f of x from the point a comma f of a to the point b comma f of b is given by so, the length L is equal to the integral of square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx from a to b. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, kailangan natin mahanap yung derivative ng f of x with respect to x. Tapos, yung magiging integral natin is square root ng 1 plus f prime of x squared, then differential dx. Tapos, yung lower at upper limit is a to b. Okay? So, ito is another form. Meron din tayong another form kung saan yung differential natin is dy. At dapat, yung function natin is nakasolve for x implicitly in terms of y. So, ito yung illustration natin. So, this time, meron tayong function na x is equal to f of y. Tapos, meron tayong horizontal line this time kung saan yung y is equal to c to y is equal to d. So, yung point natin bali is f of d, d and f of c, c. So, para makuha naman natin yung length na to nung arc is, sasabi if the function f and its derivative f prime are continuous on the closed interval c, d, then the length of arc of the curve x is equal to f of y from the point f of c, c to the point f of d, d is given by, so l is equal to the integral of square root of 1 plus f prime of y squared dy from C to D. So, parang pareho lang sila, right? Ang naiba lang is, yung differential natin is dx dito, tapos dito is dy. Tapos, naka, in terms of y din dapat yung ating function dito sa loob ng radikan. Okay? So, apply lang naman natin itong formula na to. Kailangan maroon na tayo mag-derivative kasi meron tayong f prime dito, right? Tapos, yung lahat ng techniques na natunan natin sa integration, and then, particularly then yung definite integral. Kasi mag evaluate tayo ng integral from lower to upper limit. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate natin yung formula for finding the length of arc of plane curve by integration, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first one, we have, find the length of the arc of the curve y is equal to x raised to 2 thirds from the point 1, 1 to 8, 4. Okay, so ito yung illustration natin. So, yung curve natin is itong y is equal to x raised to 2 thirds. Tapos, hanapin daw natin yung length ng arc na to from the point 1, 1 tapos to the point 8, 4. So, parang ito yung hanapin nating length. Okay. So, try natin gamitin yung unang formula. Yung length is equal to the integral ng square root ng 1 plus f prime of x quantity squared dx from a to b. So, yung a natin bali dito is yung x-coordinate ng ating first point na 1, comma 1. So, x is equal to 1. Tapos, yung b natin dito is yung x-coordinate ng second point natin na x is equal to 8. So, a is 1 and b is 8. 
Tapos, kailangan natin hanapin yung f prime of x. So, yung f prime of x natin, bali, is y prime, right? So, derivative natin to. So, power formula, babasi 2 thirds, x raised to 2 thirds minus 1. So, y prime or f prime of x is equal to 2 thirds, x raised to 2 thirds minus 1 is negative 1 third. Or, 2 over 3, x raised to 1 third. So, substitute natin ngayon itong mga values. So, length is now equal to square root of so 1 plus f prime of x is 2 over 3x raised to 1 third squared dx from a is 1, b is 8. So, simplify muna natin yung radical. So, square root of 1 plus, so distribute ko tong exponent na 2. So, magiging 2 squared is 4 over, distribute ka rin yung 2 sa 3 tsaka sa x raised to 1 third so magiging 9 x raised to 2 thirds dx from 1 to 8 okay, then gawin nating single fraction to so ang LCD is itong 9 x raised to 2 thirds so magiging numerator is 9 x raised to 2 thirds plus 4 dx from 1 to 8 right so, paghiwalayin natin yung radical sa numerator at denominator. So, 9x raised to 2 thirds plus 4 over square root ng 9x raised to 2 thirds dx from 1 to 8. So, simplify natin tong denominator. Yung numerator, hindi na masisimplify yan. Copy lang. Over, so makakalabas si 9, right? Magiging 3 na lang siya. Tapos, itong x raised to 2 thirds magiging x raised to 1 third na eliminate na natin yung radical. Then, dx from 1 to 8. So, dahil constant si 3, igigilid ko na lang 1 third integral ng square root of 9x raised to 2 thirds plus 4 over x raised to 1 third dx from 1 to 8. So, anong magandang u substitution? So, try natin i-let u itong loob ng radical na expression na 9x raised to 2 thirds plus 4. Kasi, pag derivative natin yan, we have, derivative nito is 9 times 2 thirds, x raised to 2 thirds minus 1, or 1 third, right? Minus 1 third. Plus, derivative ng 4 is 0. So, wala na. Times dx. So, further simplifying, du is equal to, cancel si 3, 3 times 2 is 6. So, x raised to one, negative 1 third is parang nasa denominator na. x raised to 1 third sa denominator times dx. So, itong dx over x raised to 1 third, ito na to, right? So, divide na lang natin both sides by 6. So, du over 6 is equal to dx over x raised to 1 third. So, pag sinubstitute na natin dito sa integral, we have 1 third integral so, square root of, itong expression is u na lang. So, u raised to 1 half. Gawin na natin fractional exponent. And then, itong dx over x raised to 1 third is du over 6. So, itong 6 na constant, ilalabas ko na lang. So, 1 third times 1, 6 is 1 over 18. Integral ng u raised to 1 half du. So, power formula lang to, right? So, 1 over 18, integral ng u raised to 1 half du is u raised to 3 halves over 3 halves. Or, 1 over 18, reciprocal yung 3 halves, times 2 thirds, u raised to 3 halves. So, cancel si 2, 9. So, parang 1 over 9 times 1 over 3 is 1 over 27, u raised to 3 halves. Pero, ibalik natin yung u in terms of x, yung substitution natin na to. So, magiging 1 over 27 times 9x raised to 2 thirds plus 4 raised to 3 halves. Ngayon, evaluate na natin sa lower at upper limit na 1 to 8. So, substitute muna natin yung 8 sa x. So, 1 over 27 times 9 times 8 raised to 2 thirds plus 4 raised to 3 halves minus, substitute naman natin yung 1 sa x. We have 1 over 27, 9 times 1 raised to 2 thirds plus 4 raised to 3 halves. So, evaluate na lang natin tong dalawang expression using calculator. Pag ginawa natin yon, ang makukuha nating sagot is approximately what? 7.6 So, therefore, yung 
Length ng arc of the curve y is equal to x raised to 2 thirds from the point 1 comma 1 to 8 comma 4 is approximately 7.6. Okay? Now, pwede rin natin gamitin yung isang formula na integral ng square root of 1 plus f of y prime square dy from c to d kung saan dapat yung given natin na y is equal to x raised to 2 thirds, right? Isasolve natin ngayon yung x explicitly in terms of y. So, raise natin both sides by 3 halves. So, we have y raised to 3 halves is equal to cancel x, right? So, ang ating c naman tsaka d bali dito is, di ba yung point natin is 1 comma 1 tsaka 8 comma 4. So, instead na yung mga x-coordinate yung kukuhain natin, yung mga y-coordinate. So, y1 is 1, tapos y2 is 4. So, c is 1 and d is 4. So, magiging integral ng square root of 1 plus, so, derivative lang natin tong x with respect to y. So, ano siya? So, x prime or f prime of y is equal to 3 halves y raised to 3 halves minus 1 or ilan to? 1 half, right? So, yung ipapalit natin dito sa formula. So, 3 y raised to 1 half over 2 squared dy from 1 to 4. Okay? So, as an exercise, pwede yung i-evaluate itong integral na to. Tapos, dapat ma-verify ng sagot niya is same lang na approximately 7.6. Okay. Next, we have find the length of the arc of the curve 6xy is equal to y to the 4 plus 3 from the point where y is equal to 1 to the point where y is equal to 2. Okay, so since yung mga point natin is yung given is yung y, pwede natin gamitin dito yung formula na length is equal to square root of 1 plus this time f prime of y square dy from C to D. Kasi nga, yung C natin bali is itong 1, tapos yung D natin is itong 2. Kaso, kailangan natin isolve itong uh, equation natin explicitly for x in terms of y. So, 6xy is equal to y to the 4 plus 3. Divide na lang both sides by 6y, right? So, cancel. x now will be equal. So, pag distribute natin, y to the 4 over 6y plus 3 over 6y. Right? So, x is equal to, cancel yung isang uh, y sa taas. So, magiging y cube over 6 plus, cancel yung 3, tsaka 6, magiging 1 half over y. Or, gawin na lang nating uh, negative exponent. So, parang 1 half y raised to negative 1. So, kailangan nating hanapin dito yung f prime of y or yung x prime, right? So, pag dinerivative natin itong x, x prime will be equal to, also equal to f prime of y, right? So, term by term, power formula lang ulit. So, 3 times y raised to 2 over 6 plus 1 half times negative 1 y raised to negative 2, right? So, cancel dito si 3 tsaka 6, 1 half y squared. Then ito, negative 1 half y raised to negative 2. Okay? So, factor na lang natin itong 1 half. So, 1 half times quantity y squared minus y raised to negative 2. So, pag in-apply natin, sinubstitute natin dito sa formula, length is equal to the integral of 1 plus 1 half y squared minus y raised to negative 2 quantity squared dy from 1 to 2. Okay, so simplify natin. Square root of 1 plus, so distribute natin itong uh, 2, so magiging 1 fourth, then y squared minus y raised to negative 2 squared dy. So expand natin to. So, 1 plus 1 fourth square of a binomial. So, y to the fourth minus 2 y squared y, y raised to negative 2 plus y raised to negative 4. Right? Further simplifying, we have 
1 plus, so distribute natin itong 1 fourth. So, 1 fourth y to the fourth. So, ito, makakancel to, right? So, magiging minus 2 na lang. Times 1 fourth minus 1 half. Plus, 1 fourth y raised to negative fourth dy from 1 to 2. So, combine natin yung similar term. Ito lang namang constant. So, we have 1 fourth y to the fourth plus 1 fourth y raised to negative 4. 1 minus 1 half is positive 1 half. So, gawin nating single fraction. So, ang LCD is 4, right? So, y to the fourth plus y raised to negative 4 plus 2 dy from 1 to 2. So, equal siya sa integral ng square root ng y to the fourth plus y raised to negative 4 plus 2 over square root of 4 dy from 1 to 2. So, equal siya sa ito, 2 na to. So, parang igigilid ko na lang dito. Parang meron na lang tayong integral ng 1 half integral of y to the fourth plus y raised to negative 4 plus 2 dy from 1 to 2. So, mapapansin nyo, mahirap tayong mag-use substitution dito kasi meron tayong square root tapos may expression tayo inside. Pero, mapansin nyo, meron tayong pwede yung apply dito eh. Pwede itong ma-factor, right? Paano? Square of a binomial. Kasi, pwede itong i-factor as y squared plus y raised to negative 2 squared, right? Pag in-expand natin to, ito kakalabasan y to the 4th plus y raised to negative 4 plus 2, right? So, pag ginawa natin yun, may square root siya, right? Maka-cancel natin yung square ng binomial. Magiging ano na lang, y squared plus y raised to negative 2. So, meron pala tayong 1 half integral ng y squared plus y raised to negative 2 dy na lang from 1 to 2. So, madali lang tong i-integrate right power formula. Term by term. So, meron tayong integral ng 1 half. Integral ng y squared is y cubed over 3 plus integral ng y raised to negative 2 is y raised to negative 1 over negative 1. Then, evaluate natin sa limit na 1, 2, 2. Okay? So, simplify lang natin na 1 half y cubed over 3 Parang nito, minus 1 over y, right? Evaluated from 1 to 2. So, substitute muna natin yung 2 sa y. 1 half, 2 cube over 3, minus 1 over 2, minus 1 half. Substitute naman natin yung 1 sa y. 1 cube over 3, minus 1 over 1. So, simplifying, we have... So, pwede na lang tayong gumamit ng calculator dito or manu-manuhin natin. Pag kinuha natin, ang makukuha nating sagot dito is what? In fraction, it is 17 over 12 or approximately 1.4. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Finding the length of an arc of a plane curve by integration. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.